Now, The Telegraph is among a number of papers looking ahead to the Chancellor's autumn statements later this morning, saying that Jeremy Hunt will tell MPs that the UK needs to face into the storm in order to revive its economic fortunes. So look at the Metro. Grin and bear it is the Metro's headline, reporting the Chancellor is preparing to deliver a double dose of painful tax rises and big public spending cuts, Britain's toughest budget for decades. The Times is reporting that England's Health Secretary, Steve, Stephen Barclay, has suggested that doctors should work more weekends in a bid to tackle A&E and ambulance waits. Uh, this um, story, of course, in the mail about supermarkets to ration eggs, as do in Lidl, the first to limit the number of boxes you can buy. Other supermarkets, and we'll be talking about this later in the programme, other supermarkets saying that there are some limited um, supplies, but no restrictions at the moment. Of course, the issues of avian flu and the war in Ukraine are being looked at for the reasons for shortages. We'll look at the front pages of the morning's newspapers and the front pages of the Metro first. Grin and bear it is the headline that's ahead of... Jeremy Hunt's autumn statement. He's certainly uh, grinning there. The Financial Times now says that the spending cuts and tax rises are an effort to repair Britain's frayed reputation. The Daily Telegraph quotes Mr Hunt as saying, we will face into the storm. The Eye says that the government is about to usher in a new era of austerity. The Daily Express is supportive, though, uh, of what may come and saying that Hunt's uh, budget will be honest and fair. The Guardian reports that the Chancellor may lift the price cap on energy bills, which will affect millions of households. While the Times looks at how the budget could impact the wealthy. The Daily Mirror covers the speech yesterday by the head of MI5, saying there have been at least 10 plots by Iran to kidnap or murder Brits on UK soil in the last year. Daily Star has a story about Donald Trump and his uh, hope to plant an American flag on Mars. OK, and The Sun leads on the Brentford striker Ivan Toney, who's been charged with 232 alleged breaches of betting rules. While The Daily Mail focuses on the rationing of eggs in supermarkets. Now, if you want to see those front pages again and read the stories attached, scan the QR code.